Hello everyone and welcome back to Daily Call of Duty. We're just two days away from week two of the CDL Major 1 qualifiers and after a thrilling week one filled with exciting matches and surprises, we're gearing up for another action-packed weekend. The schedule includes three matches on Friday, four on Saturday and three on Sunday. Today, our focus will be on predicting the outcomes of the matches, taking into consideration betting odds and last week's results. Let's kick things off by discussing the favorites for the day one matches. From a betting standpoint, both Miami and Vegas are sitting at a 1.83. After the Heritage clean sweep against the Carolina Ravens in the opening weekend and Vegas Legion's 1-1 record with both series go to Game 5, Vegas is proving to be one of the best surgeon destroyed teams out there. While I'm leaning towards the Vegas Legion in my prediction for this series, I'm generally eager to see the Spanish roster continue their winning streak. Moving on to the next match featuring the LA Thieves and Boston Bridge. Both teams are looking strong with the Thieves facing top opponents last week in Seattle Surge and Atlanta Face, two of the top teams in the game. Boston also had a challenging weekend against Toronto and Face. Both Boston and Thieves are currently winless in the CDO with an 0-2 record. The betting sides tend to favor the LA Thieves with their line at 1.61 and I'm predicting a thrilling Game 5 showdown in favor of the Thieves. Now on to the highlight match of Day 1 featuring Opti Texas and Seattle Surge. This highly anticipated matchup marks Illis and Shotzi first time playing against each other since the inception of the CDL in 2020. Opti Texas is the favorite with a line at 1.61. However, don't be surprised if Seattle takes this one considering their strong performance in the opening weekend with a 2-0 record. For me, I'm going with Opti Texas in Game 5, hoping it doesn't end on Terminal though, as Seattle looks like the strongest team on that map. Next up, the first match on Saturday between the Miami Heretics and the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker holds the line as favorites at 1.80. This could go either way, but I am predicting a thrilly Game 5 victory for the Spanish team. Following that series is the matchup between New York Subliners and the Vegas Legion. New York's line sits at a mere 1.28 making them the clear favorites. I believe Vegas can steal the search and destroy, showcasing strength in that game mode. I'm predicting a 3-1 series win for the reigning Call of Duty champs. Moving on to the match of the day featuring an intense battle between Seattle Surge and Atlanta FaZe. Despite FaZe looking impressive in their first set of matches, sweeping the LA Thieves, the historical rivalry between Seattle and FaZe always makes it feel like the Surge has FaZe number. With Seattle's stock roster this year, I am taking Seattle in a Game 5 Round 11 nail beating ending. Surge line sits at a 3.25, while FaZe is a clear favorite with their line at 1.33. For the final match of the day, we have Clayster's Carolina Ravens going up against arguably the best team in the league at the moment, Toronto Ultra. With Ultra's line at a 1.14, this is looking to be a dominant 3-0. However, I can see Carolina stealing the control if Clayster have superstar performance. Moving on to Sunday's matches, the Carolina Ravens have another tough matchup against Optic Texas. Optic's line sits at a 1.20 and they are the clear favorites. With their solid performance against the Minnesota Rocker and excluding some unfortunate moments that cost them the Game 5 win against New York, this is shaping out to be Optic's first clean sweep of the season. The match of the day for me and the most exciting to watch is the battle of LA between the Gorillas and the Thieves. LAG looked insane when they faced New York last week, where they ultimately could have won the series 3-0, but showed the Game 1 Harpoon and Game 2 Search and Destroy, which ended in a 1v1. Thieves need to grab a win and this is their chance, however LAG won't make it easy for them. With LAT's line sitting at 1.28, they are going to take the 3-2 win after some insane back and forth games. In the last matchup of week 2, we are treated to a banger series between Toronto Ultra and Boston Bridge. Although Ultra are the clear favorites with their line sitting at 1.20, I am hoping Boston will make this an exciting series, ultimate ending in Ultra's favor with a 3-1 win. Having said all that, what are your predictions for week 2 of the Modern Warfare 3 season? Which team do you believe will surprise us the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this episode of my prediction, make sure to subscribe to stay updated on everything Call of Duty League has in store this season. This is Daily Call of Duty and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.